Hey everyone, today in this video we'll be talking about Arduino Uno and its experiments. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So first of all that we see over here is that we are using an LED control buttons to control the LED over here. The architecture is what I'm about to explain. Because we'll be using uh, LEDs and controlling with the buttons that are over here, essentially we would need LED and two buttons. Upon that, because we're using an electrical appliance, we would need a 220 um, ohm resistor. I have secured the LED bulb uh, by you putting the cathode in the front and anode in the back. I've also connected the resistor with the cathode, I mean the anode. And on the anode side, I mean the cathode side, I put a wire which is connected to a terminal in the Arduino Uno. The Arduino Uno itself is connected to my laptop over here which is giving the power supply. Once the power supply is made, the power supply can be transferred to the breadboard using the terminals over here. The terminals over here are labeled from number 1 through 15 and it goes up to label 21. So you're free to pick any slot that you would like to. In this case, I have used slot 5, 8, and 9. The way I have circulated is that once one part of this wire goes into part 5, which is here, what this does is that it ensures that the power supply coming from the Arduino is supplied to your LED because we would like the LED to light up. Now we have also installed buttons but we need to give some electric supply to the buttons as well. So what we are going to do is connect um, the anodes of the two buttons to the negative terminal so they are secured and grounded. And likewise what we are going to do with the cathode is that we are going to connect these two terminals of the cathode of the buttons to the connection over here specifically 8 and 9 pin all right once that is done i need to secure my circuit with having it grounded the way i make it grounded is that it has a label called ground so i would put a wire here and a negative terminal here so my circuit is grounded circuit is complete and it's ready for an action below I have put a description uh, box of the code that I will be using to make this circuit function. So go ahead and assemble the circuit accordingly and look at the description for the video. Thanks for watching.